I don't know men, guys. For some reason, me in Angela's bedroom. Ah, goodness. <laughs> no, be did you be that? Eh? No, be did you be that? So you guys know that she lives in Dubai, right? And she happens to be my neighbor. So this this her girl that is helping her to take care of her house. Uh, what's her name? Insikak. Yeah. So Insikak did laundry for her daughter. That is Ariel. And you know, in Dubai, when you spray clothes outside, it will dry very, very fast because of the sun. <laughs> well, this is the one that was sent to me by Barna and, uh, and uh, Saba. So, oh, actually, when it comes to be that I was right when I was interviewing the other day that uh, MOA has not been amended yet. So, you guys know how hot it is in Dubai, right? When you spray clothes outside within, just go inside your room and come out, it's already dried. So this her girls um, washed her daughter's clothes and spread it outside. And I saw that the breeze blew the clothes. It has, it now fell down on the ground. So as a good neighbor, like in Nigeria, if your neighbor's clothes is on the ground, you pick it up, right? But for me, instead of me to pick it up and keep it in the um, hangar, with my two left Lego, I went to Angela's house and knock. I said, hello, my neighbor, see your baby's clothes on the ground. I said, let me pick it up for you before this cat starts sitting down on it or poop on it. Ah, she now thanked me and welcomed me to her house. She now said I should come, she'll take care of me. Before you know it, I found myself in her bedroom. She made a space for me. I slept behind her. She was sleeping in the middle and her daughter, Ariel, was sleeping in the other side. So my husband woke up, he did not see me. He was like, where did I go to, where did I go to? So he now called my phone and when I answered, I said, ah, I'm with our neighbor. So my husband said, we are in his clothes, come and meet some, my, her husband. Because you know my husband now, he's very good with people. He likes talking, he likes conversations with people, you know, especially if you're Nigeria, because his wife is Nigeria. My husband will see an African person and go and meet them, where are you from? If they say they're Nigerian, he'll say, I'm also Nigerian, they'll be like, huh? Oh, no, 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 mind. My wife is in Nigeria. He's so happy that he's married to a Nigerian woman. Anyway, he got up, dressed up to go and meet um, um, Sound Mind. And they were having conversation. Angela was still sleeping. Me, I was, still, I was so comfortable in her. You people know she has a very beautiful house now. I was so comfortable in her room. And I was so, I was so um, touched when Insika put a blanket on the ground and lay beside us. And then I'm like, Isika, come and join us in the bed. Now the bed is big, it's king size bed. She said, no, 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 I'm fine here. I said, no, now get up. And before you know it, Majesty now shouted, Wah! And then I said, what happened? And that was when it occurred to me that it was a dream. Goodness. What can I do with this? Nobody should wake me up. 